Hey my people, how's it going and welcome back. So today we have the Think Car Think Scan 672 Automotive Diagnostic Tool, my people. So now with this one, I want to check um, if we are able to do TPMS because a lot of them, um, I guess for some reason, you know, Honda Accords, um, you might need two tools, but I want to see if at least this will, will get the process started. Um, in one of my other ones, I think I had the, the lunch um, elite and that one didn't do it at all. It will give it an error. So let's see what's in the box. So starting off, we have this nice little pouch. And honestly, this is kind of reminding me of the mule car. The mule car is basically just like this. It does bring the same um, pouch. So let's see if it's identical. Cause some of these OBDs, they kind of look identical to each other. I'm not sure if um, it's the same software and everything inside of them. Um, but sometimes it is. I just know that for this one, um, this one's wired. So it's not the Bluetooth, but they do have one that's the Bluetooth, the Tinkar, um, I forget the number, it, but it's the, the BT, something like that. And there you go, it has his manual and all that for y'all. So, whoa. So one of the bags broke for the uh, humidity. So as you can see, yep, it is it's almost just like the Mew card. So that's thing card here. Yep, it's set. Again, this one's wired. So I don't know why my phone is acting up. Okay, there we go. Um, and again, it has a type C, has a USB. Um, and here's the serial port cable that goes to the OBD um, for you to connect to the car, which is right here, OBD2, and then serial port, go connect it to there. Um, oh yeah. So just like the mule car, it brings this, uh, which you can change this. You can replace it um, with, I'm sure it has the American one right here, the American one. And then we have the European right there. And this back broke, so I gotta get it out of there. Your type C USB, okay? Which you could plug it to the computer and all that. All right, but we're gonna, we're gonna fast track. This is not a one-on-one. -on -one. We're gonna go see what capabilities this baby has. We know that this has um, a rechargeable battery. We'll turn it on. Yep, as you can see, which is good. So that means you don't need the cable, the OBD2 to power it up. Brings its battery, you charge it. Most likely it's also gonna have Wi-Fi, which means you have to update it. So that's gonna be my next step. I am not gonna show you guys this steps in my other videos with the other OBD scanners I did show you, but in this one, you just gotta go through your setup, make sure you connect it to your Wi-Fi, make sure you update it and all that, my people. So I'm gonna do all that. If it needs a little bit of charging, I am gonna charge it and then we'll go with that. So it's just the normal setup, so y'all can see. All right, so we'll be back. Okay, so just to show you real quick, yep, it definitely needed an update. Vehicle software 65, so there's a lot, and I'm pretty sure maybe the firmware, I got an update of the device itself, maybe the operating system also. So this does take a while. So definitely before anything, connect it to your Wi-Fi and upgrade the software and also maybe the operating system if it needs it, my people. So we're back. All right. Um... And again, I'm gonna try the the TPMS Honda. Version 1050, yeah. We already did all the updates and everything, my peeps. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go with the system selection. I don't want to do all the, you know what? System scan. Let's do a system scan. Let it, let it automatically scan the systems that are working right now. Okay, there we go. 
So restrain, do, 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 do. It got all this, see? Equipped with the keyless control unit, ignition control module. You. So now, see how it's not giving me the TPMS? This is, this is psyching me out. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's because I haven't added the, the VIN or something like that. I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't tested too much with this OBD scanners. But I'm trying to look for the rear camera, the TPN. Blind spot, don't have it. Uh, right here. Right here. Tire. That's what I want to see. Please check if the vehicle will see with the original. Please check. So it is It is having a communication failure. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to attempt to do what everybody says don't do. I'm going to turn on the car. Let's see now with the car on. Nope. So it's still not communicating. Um, the thing with this car is, though, that you do calibrate it through here. So let me show you this part, too, because this car actually has it through here. So maybe, see, TPMS calibration. So it has it right here, this car. So maybe it doesn't need this for that. Um, the reason why is because my dad got the 2016 Odyssey. And I'm trying to see if you could do it with, with, with this because it's very controversial with the Odyssey, man. It doesn't have it through here. It doesn't have it through there. It doesn't have it. I don't know why. So, I don't know. But, um, yep, so this card doesn't take it. But let's try to see if we do the keys. I think the price is pretty good for it. Pretty decent, my people. So, hey, I'll put the link down below if you're interested in buying it. Feel free to buy it. Um, sorry I didn't go too in-depth with it. Um, but again, it does do a lot of things. Um, with this thing, you could um, print out reports, save reports. It does a lot of things. It does the history. Let's see if it... Okay, so it's showing me... So this thing actually did pick up the VIN. I don't understand why it's saying that it didn't pick up the VIN. Yeah, the time is, I gotta fix the time and all that. So it did pick up my VIN. Hmm, interesting. All right, so I gotta go fix the time and all that, my people. But again, pretty good. There you go again, USA. I don't wanna make this, this video too long. System selection. You would think it's there, but it's not there. No, it's not there. So you just want to see if it's maybe in the push start. So maybe one push start. Nope. I'm trying to figure out how it is again that you go into checking for the keys. Ah, because I wanna I wanna make sure that this has it. I don't want to give you false information, but if anything, just feel free to call the manufacturer. Um because it's not giving me nothing here key out switch illumination i know if i press the switch illumination let's see it might illuminate it my switch is is off let's see i'm gonna go into switch illumination but my car is on also so the function is being executed time left 22 I'm trying to figure out if this might not have the keys to make the fogs because it should have been here. I wouldn't notice it. It's not the killer. It's not the one push. So it might not have that one. 
for this car. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to make the video too long. I apologize. Um, and again, this doesn't, but it's showing my Honda. So let me see. It won't pick up my VIN. I don't know why either. So it did pick up my VIN, as you can see. It did pick up the VIN for my car automatically. The type of car, hybrid, the year, all that it picked up. And again, the car is just on the on position. The engine is not started at all. Man, the problem is why can I do, why can I see to make the keys? I could have electronic power steering or is it under immobilizer? I thought it was there or on the push star, but let me see if it has an immobilizer. I could have sworn this thing had the immobilizer. Ignition control module. Nope. That makes no sense to me. Let me instrument cluster. Yeah, we know. Actuation test. Let's see. Self-diagnostic function. Let's see if it does anything. Yep. So that's a self-diagnostic function. There you go. For some reason, this one doesn't carry the things to make the keys. See. So it's showing that the key is not on the seat, but the key is here. Okay. So that one is working. So it's working. So it does talk. It's just, I don't know how to mess with it much. Um, but as far as the key to making a fob, I do not see this here. Like in the dollar fix or the mule car. The mule car does have the one where you could actually register a new key and all that in different vehicles. This one, I don't see it, my people. But again, for the price, it does do a lot of things, just depending what car you have. Um, the other ones that do the key and all that, of course, they're in the $600, $700, $800. So just to let you know. But again, I'll leave the link down below if you're interested in purchasing this. All right? So take care, my people.